Hello, students. Good, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Teacher. How, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Hi, welcome, guys, to our Very English nice. class. So, do you have dinner? No? Yes, yes right? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah, that's great. So, actually, it was a time. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, son of you. Not yet. So, it's important to try to eat on time. You know, we have, like, energy. <laughs> Okay, so welcome to our English class. We always have the the opportunity, you know, to you know to have this space to practice English, um, to work in some exercises with the goal to, you know, learn new things, vocabulary, expressions, and practicing. That's very valuable. So let's start today with our classes, and also we, as we always do, um, having a short feedback of the previous topics that we had developed. And we have been talking about jobs. We have been talking about skills. We have been talking about different um, invaluable topics, right? And we will continue with this line, thinking about some skills. And yesterday, we were saying that that some of us, we are good for some specific task or we are good for some specific jobs. But at the same time, we recognize that there are some jobs that they don't, they don't fit uh, with us. They are not so good because perhaps or, or we don't have these skills or we don't feel very comfortable with this area of work. I was speaking with a friend of mine and he lives in New York and he says that he works in a restaurant. Well, we were talking about some, some things related to business and he was saying that... Um, that he got a, the opportunity to apply for a, another kind of job, like having a small company and about um, gardening, gardening, something like that. So a company that, you know, people give service to some gardens in some houses in the United States. But my friend told me that he thinks that he doesn't have experience about that and this is one of the jobs that he wouldn't like to try because it's very heavy and because no, everybody likes to do that because it's a very hard job, especially when you work in in a season that is very hot, for example, in summer. And it's very hot there, so it's very challenging. Okay, so let's start today with the, with the class. And... Let's see the topic for today. We'll continue working with the same line about finding a job, thinking about jobs. So this is one of the lines that we are developing right here in the class today. And uh, we have the first activity. We were talking about because and because of, right? So we will try it again as a, as a part of the feedback. And I want you to help me to uh, select the best uh, word that complete this statement. So I'm just going to give you um, some, you know, a couple of minutes to try to think about what possible um, answer we can add and also check in the context of the statements. Remember that it's important that we uh, check the context of the sentences. Uh, guess meaning from context and select the best choice for So read the statement and uh, read each statement and try to uh, match if we can use about por qué or a causa de. So look at the context and try to um, select the best choice for each one.
Okay, almost ready. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so let's let's compare the, the answers about the statements here and we will check uh, what possible answer we could add for each statement right here. So we have the first one. We got into trouble because 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 because, because, you. because of, you. of you because the person is the cause of the problem. When we use because of, we give a reason about something specifically. We got into trouble because of you. So we got the first one. In that case, the best choice will be because of you. Because of you. Because of you. Because of you. Number because. two. Number two, we cancel. We can see the, the word canceled. Yes. You can see that is double, double L. When you see double L, that means that it's a British word. This is a British word because in, in America, we only have one L. Two L are is for British. So we cancel the trip. Because of. Because of. Because of. Because of bad weather. So we have a responsible for the situation. Uh, the bad weather is the responsible of this of the case. Mm. Okay, look at the number three. Uh, we are it indoors. Because of training. Because of, 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 of raining. Is it uh, raining. Because it raining was raining. For... Yes, because it was raining. <laughs> 
Okay, look at the next one. And she passed the test. Because her, because uh, her teacher. teacher. So that's mean that the teacher is responsible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe. Because, because, of her, because of her teacher. So um, the teacher is responsible in that case, right? Um, maybe the teacher says, okay, I will give you, I will give her extra points. So that's why she passed the test. Maybe there is a possibility. We don't know about it. Okay. Look at the next one. And let's see. Um, oh, she passed. Well, uh, she passed the test because the teacher, she passed the test. Number five. Because, because she had a good teacher. Okay, because she had a good teacher. Okay, that's um, promising. That is promising. That's okay. The next one, I, 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 I couldn't arrive on time. Because, because, because I had time. I had missed the train. Excellent. Excellent. Because I had missed the train. And so I am the responsible in that case. I can't walk arthritis. He can't. Because he can't walk because of because arthritis. Okay, there is a reason why she can't or he can walk, right? And it's the arthritis. Yeah, that, that's, that's comprehensive. Excellent, excellent. And the last one. Uh, she didn't pass the test. She hadn't because, because she hadn't studied well. Yeah, because she she hadn't studied well. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So thank you so much. You can see the context can help us to uh, identify if we're using because of or just because in the sentence. But remember that the most important is that we can understand. And as part of the practice, this statement. So that was a great job. Okay, let's continue with the next exercise for this class. So we can go on to the next one, the, the, the exercise that I told you yesterday. And that is a writing exercise. Look at this one. I think I'll make a good flight attendant. So this person thinks that, you know, she has a great skills for getting that job or for dedicating for being like like that or getting that a specific job right either about a job you would be good at or a job that you could never do and give at least three reasons for your choice and look at the context Um, I think I make a good fight attendant because I'm a very friendly person and I enjoy uh, many people. Also, I love to travel. After that, you write a short description about what would you like to be. You will exchange some information. We will work in a small groups and you will have a short time to uh, socialize what you have written and also the job that you think you can fit. For example, if one of you have a specific job right away, for example, in my case, because I'm a teacher, I will write about a teacher because I wanted to be a teacher before. So I just continue with my passion that is teaching. So I can say, I think that I'm a good teacher because I, 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 I love teaching because I love what I'm doing. I always love planning and also thinking it's on a strategy for helping my students to practice. Also, I feel really encouraged because every time my personal satisfaction is to know my students have learned and they are learning it all the time. So we can see their improvement every day. They don't stop. And when they try to give up, we try, I try to encourage them to show they can do. Y entonces comienzo a explicar eh, por qué este trabajo para mí es el mejor o por qué yo puedo desarrollar o desempeñar este trabajo. Entonces eso es lo que usted va a hacer en este momento. So you will uh, write a short description. After that, we will work in a small groups and we will socialize this information about your skills. Um, yesterday, I told you that uh, you could advance about working 
about a job. So I would like to ask you if you, if some of you did it, if some of you wrote the short paragraph. No. Okay, so I will give you some minutes to write uh, about your job that you would be good at. Yes, and, teacher. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, work with this. And when you finished, please do me a huge, a huge favor. Uh, write in the chat, uh, done. So I will know that you have finished. Write in the short paragraph and use the chat to write done. So I would understand that you have finished your writing. Let's go. Thank you. So I can see that uh, Boris, Dennis, 
and Nadia have finished. Thank you. Okay, so I can see that, uh, well, we have um, more students are joining in, in this chat, you know, so I think we have finished. So what we had to do is we will take a short time to uh, share uh, the information about our jobs or that we are good at some specific jobs or positions. So that's why we will take care about this and we will practice. Let's work in the breakup rooms. See, okay. Okay, so in this moment, we will uh, we'll go to our groups and practice. Remember, share your information and let's see what we can learn from each other. And also we can learn about what the skills you have and you're good at some specific jobs. Let's go. It, now, my five, yes, okay. I am ready. Let's go. <laughs> I'm ready. Yes. Okay. Um, in, in, in my case, do you hear me, partner? Hello, do you hear me? Pardon? Yes, it's still you. Okay, okay. I think I make good dance instructor because I'm a very happy and friendly person and I love dance and I would like to teach dance class. Okay. Okay. I think he's my a good teacher because I'm a, a very friendly person and I enjoy uh, the children. Ah, okay. Do you like children? Hello? 
Окей, ай. Финиш, Ноеми? Не. Но. Окей. I think I'd make doctor because I am nervous. I don't like hospital and I don't see people sick. And I think like make teacher because I like teach uh, uh, children. Oh. Okay. I Me negative. too. I... Yes. She I said the... Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. I could never be a nurse because I don't like to see a blue. I would mind working as assistant because I love my work. Okay. Is my uh, good chicken because I like to cook. <risa> ok Elba Bien, bien, ya lo pudimos solucionar Ok Ok, ya lo pudimos solucionar, perfecto <risa> Thank you, Francisco No problem, welcome Juan Juan eh, Usted iba a decir una no, in, no. in my case is yeah. I think I will be a bad flight tender because I don't like health altura health healthy is give me a love of vertigo but I could visit different countries ¿Juan iba a decir algo? Yo, yo puedo decir ¿Sí? otra. O sea, sobre el tema este que está en la pantalla. <coughs> no más que, eh, bueno, está escribiendo algo, pero que no es eh, de profesión, digamos. Yo podría decir, I wish I could speak no, 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 excellent no, English because it is a better now language in the world. Different language in the world. The two mm, are the different is, world. It's better now. It's más conocido. Oh. In, in language English in the world. Si ¿Sí se entiende o no? Si ¿Sí no se entiende. <laughs> o yo le escribí mal. <laughs> Entendí un pedacito, pero que en sí, ¿cuál era? I wish I could speak. Ah, su deseo, okay. Uh -huh. I wish I could speak. Okay, different language. Excellent English. Ah, oh, okay. okay. Okay, Because yeah. it's a better known language in the world. Oh. Es como usar esa, esa conjunción que estamos haciendo, no más que en el de trabajo. Porque mm -hmm. lo que estamos usando es unir el because con... Yo quiero eso. Ajá, ajá eso. Con, con algo que uno, que, que uno uh -huh. va a hacer o que quiere o, o que está haciendo. Uh -huh. o las habilidades o no habilidades. Bueno. Solo, solo nosotros cuatro éramos, yo vi otra persona más. Eh... Sí, como que eran cinco. En mi caso, hay... Then like to the north <laughs> because I don't like the hospital. Ah yes. Yes. Yes, in my case too. I don't I um I don't have uh, many patients because we we came north Ne she needs uh, more patient. Impatient, impatient is the morning. In my case, I could. I could be a nurse. Yes, I like to help other persons. Yes, yes, I could be a nurse. 
I I like it to help the person, but in the hospital is uh, very difficult. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> it's stressful. Me. Yes, stressful. Yes, uh, but it's hard. It's a uh, job hard. Yes, it's it's difficult to uh, see the the people. Take and I don't don't help with 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 take us at all with and yeah, sincerely Dolores with o sea con sus dolores de no sé qué es It's difficult for me. Do you like the paint? The paint. What? Do you like the blood? The sangre? The blood? It like? isn't, isn't difficult. You for me. I, 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 I can't see. Is no problem for me. Okay. We we are practice the exercise and we finish the our work about this exercise. Okay. Y aquí es donde le tenemos que cantar al teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. I want you. <laughs> very, very thank you. Very, very thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, pero cántenlo, no sean así. Apóyanos, teacher. <risa> pues sí, no es que usted me lo va a cantar a mí. Hello, teacher. How are you? How are you? Very, very thank you. Very, very thank you. How are you? <risa> Hasta acento tienen, cosa seria. <risa> nah, <Oye>. ¿cómo cree? <risa> Igual okay. siempre hay que alegrarnos la noche un ratito. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's good, it's good. I agree, I agree. Okay, uh, students, congratulations for the practice. I could learn a little bit about you. I could listen um some of you guys talking about your jobs and uh, jobs that you would like to, you know, perform, would you like to try? And some other jobs that you say, you know what, this job is not for me. So that's good because we can learn from each other. And at the same time, I was listening to some of you trying to formulate some statements, express some ideas, and I really like it because that is the way we learn uh, trying to say something in English. And that, I love this activity. Definitely, that is important. Okay. Sure, we, I have a question. Sorry. Yeah. What is the uh, translating in Spanish because of? Because que es por qué o algo así, no? Yes. Uh -huh. A causa de. Ah, okay, gracias. Yes, all right. Thanks, You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, uh, we have uh, the following conversation. And uh, what I want you to do is to listen to the, the, the conversation. I will share the link in this precise moment. And you will try to identify the following answers. The first one, what is the man's name? Where is the man? Uh, what is uh, the man from originally? What does the man do for a living? And how many people are in his family? Where did they find a family cat? So I want you to listen carefully and focus in the following equations. And after that, you will do me a great favor to answer these questions for the class. I know that it's going to be pretty easy for you guys, but at the same time, you will help me with this exercise. So let me share it through this link, the conversation. And okay, look at the chat right now. 
Look at the chat, look at the chat. And I'm sharing right now this link. Please let me know if you can see it. Can you see the link? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Yes, so, teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. thank you so much. So take a short time, uh, listen, and, and after that you will help me to answer. Let's go. Well, hi. Are, are you new in the neighborhood? Oh, yeah. Welcome. Welcome to the neighborhood. Oh. Hey, I'm Stacy.
Ready? Yeah, I'm finished, teacher. Okay, what's easy, right? What's an easy conversation? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> difficult, difficult, easy. How do you feel, guys, about this? Uh, Neutral. It's very interesting uh, because uh, they use many, many new words for me. And I, I am uh, preoccupied about the cat. <laughs> Okay, so the, exactly. I, I really love that because it's a, a nice conversation. So we learn new vocabulary and also the accent of people, the way how they speak nationally. That is a process. So it is a great conversation too. Okay, uh, the first question that we could identify about this part was like, what is the man's name? Mark Jones. Mark Mar jokes. Mar jokes. Mar jokes. Okay. Uh, we totally agree with the first one. And where is the man from originally? He's from Chicago. 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 From Chicago. 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 He's from Chicago. Perfect. And what does the man do for a living? He writes a program. Um, how many people are in his family? I can't Eleven. Eleven. Nine. Eleven. 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 I can understand. Eleven. That's, that's a big family. Okay, and the last one, the last but not the least. Where did they find a family cat? The cat was inside the box. was inside the box. Okay, exactly. Thank you so much, guys, for, you know, helping me with this uh, listening part. You know, it's always important to try listening. That's part of the skills. So we can learn new vocabulary and expressions. So that's one of the tips. I remember that, that I was when I was learning English, I used to watch some English programs or so English series, and I didn't understand many words when I listened that time. But listen from listen and listen several times, I could learn vocabulary, and this could help me to improve my pronunciation too. That that's why it's, it's very important to to be in contact with uh, serious movies because you can listen English naturally. Okay. Um, we check the attendance list. So do me the favor to check the attendance list. So one second. I will check the attendance list. So one moment, please. Okay, let's see, um, Alejandro Jose Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Ana Filomena Mendoza. Present teacher. Thanks. Andrea Geraldina Sanchez. Present teacher. Uh, Andrea Michelle Garcia. Present teacher. Eh, Blanca Marisol Vargas. Present teacher. Um, Boris Martin Salinas. Present teacher. Brian Isaac Escamilla. Carlos Jose Asensio. Present teacher. Denis Isaías Gómez. Present teacher. Eh, Daisy Carolina Rodríguez. Present teacher. Eh, Dina Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Elba Carolina Vázquez Flores. Present teacher. Erika Maidel Antonio Flores. Erika, Present teacher. Eh, Francisco Alberto Lemus. 
Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, uh, Iris Regina Hernandez. Iris, uh, Jaime Rolando Escalante. Excuse me, teacher, present. Uh, ¿Quién? ¿Quién? Iris. Ah, ok, ok. Uh, Jaime Rolando Escalante. No, no está. Uh, Jenny Elizabeth uh, Santillana. Present, teacher. Ok, Jessica Janet Sánchez. Jessica. Eh, Juan Eduardo Morán. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Katia Graciela Juan de Cantray. Present teacher. Eh, María Lucila Soto. Present. Eh, Marita Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Present teacher. Thanks. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Nadia. Present teacher. Oh, Nadia, ok. Eh, Noemí Alicia Estrada de Valle. Present teacher. Eh, Oscar Armando Cruz Hernández. Oscar Armando. Eh, Ricardo de Jesús Ramírez. Present, present. Eh, Ricardo. Eh, ¿Quién dijo present? Oscar. Oscar. Ah, ok, ok. ¿Y Ricardo de Jesús se encuentra? Eh, ¿Ricardo de Jesús Ramírez? No, no está. Eh, ¿Sara Nalda Guzmán? Present teacher. Ok, eh, Vidal Emilio Mejía García. Present teacher. Eh, Wendy Abigail Rivera de Escamilla. Present teacher. Ok, está acá, gracias. La de bola de Jerry, agarra la de bola de Jerry. Uh, Wilfredo Mendoza Ramos. Present. Okay, just to conclude the class, we will have a short reading. And the purpose of this reading is to try to uh, answer some questions with true or false. So for that reason, I want you to help me to read this article. And later, we will answer these questions. Traveling is fun because you can see how people in other parts of the world live. One thing travelers don't often think about before traveling is how other cultures bathe. And bathrooms in many countries may be different from the kind you are used to. In the United States, most people take a shower once a day in the morning. The shower head is usually mounted on the wall and cannot be moved. The, the batter simply, uh, simply stands under water and gets wet scrub with soap and often uh, wash clothes and then rinses off. Children often take a bath each night and enjoy playing with the small toys such as boats, um, rubber ducks. Many adults, especially women, enjoy the soothing bath to get rid of stress at the end of the day. It is important to remember that when we take a shower or, or bath in the United States, you should be careful to keep the water inside the bath too or shower, unlike bathrooms in many countries. There is no drain in the floor. If water gets on the floor, it cannot go anywhere and must be cleaned up with a towel or mop. It can also cause problems for the floor, so be careful. Okay, students, what I want you to do is to read this article again. So you will take a short time to read this article. And after that, and we will respond the following questions that we have here. I'm sorry, we go back. And choose the correct answer. Check the answers below. Travelers don't often think about bathing, food, or money. 
oh, so what's the possible answers according to the article? Americans often take a shower in the morning, afternoon, or night. Children often take a shower, a bath, or swim at night. Sometimes adults uh, take a bath to oh, shower, to relax, or to play with toys. And the last one is American explorers don't have a bathroom, a shower head, or drain. So for that reason, uh, we will take a short time to work in a small groups and you will help each other to respond these uh, questions about this article. So we will activate the breakout rooms and let's go. Teacher, where is that text? Oh, okay, let me see. Uh, okay, so. I, I, I'm going to read, okay. Traveling is fun because you can see how people in other parts of the world live. One thing travelers uh, don't often think about before traveling is how often cultures the and bathrooms in many countries may differ from the kind you are used to. In the United States, most people take a shower once a day in the morning. The shower head is usually mounted on the wall and cannot be moved. The bather simply stands under the water gets wet, scrub, scrubs with soap and often a wash, washcloth and then rinses off. Children often, often take about each mite 
and enjoy playing with a small toy such as a boat and rubber, ducks, many adults, especially women, enjoy a shooting bat to get rid of stress as the end, at the end of the day. It is important to remember that when you take a shower or bath in the United States, you should be careful to skip the water inside the bath, bathtub or shower. Unlike bathrooms in many countries, there is not drain in the floor. If water gets on the floor, it cannot go anywhere and must be cleaned up with a towel or mop. It can also cause problems for the floor. So be careful. Okay. Now, yeah, question? now the, the answers, let me see. What is the answer? Excuse me. Travers I... often think about in, in other Travers... countries for traveling. Sería, uh, letter A, betting. 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 Uh-huh. And yes. next to. America often take a shower in the morning. morning. Yes, American Americans often take a shower in the morning. Yes, uh -huh. children uh -huh. often take a shower. A, a shower at night. A shower, no? yeah. But it's not at night. Next. Sometimes yeah. adults uh -huh. take about to relax. Relax. Okay. Uh -huh. Don't have a. Don't have a. a, a shower head. Shower head. No. no. American bat floors hoop. don't have a bat hoop. Bat hoop. Yes. Bat -hoop. A bat too. Mm -hmm. It's important to remember that when you take a shower or bath in the United States, you should be careful to keep the water inside the bathtub or shower. Unlike mm -hmm. bathrooms, bathrooms in many countries there is no drain in the floor. Pero es que dice in unlike bathroom in many countries, there is no drain in the floor. You know, like, podemos cantar. <laughs> As students, we um, we had to conclude because of the time. So I know that uh, some of your partners are still breaking on that. You know, the time is going so fast. So you can check the, the possible answers like bath theme. Uh, the number two, we have afternoon. And also we can see the number three, uh, take a bath. Also the number four is to take a bath to relax. So they do that one. And the last one is American floor. American floors don't have a drain, so they had to be cleaning because of the situations they experienced that one. So you can see that in some other cultures is, is very different. And we, we know that, you know, people don't take showers at different time depending on the weather condition and some other aspects that they uh, take into account, right? So. That's why we, well, we, we know that there are different people from different cultures and we know that everything is changing. So thank you guys for staying here in the class today. We conclude and have a beautiful um, night to all of you guys. Thanks for staying here actively in the class. And I hope to see you uh, tomorrow. That is actually the last class for finishing the course uh, for this level. And we'll see further. Uh, in a different level. Okay, guys, thank you and have a beautiful night to all of you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. And thank you for the course. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye -bye.